Hi, I'm Joshua from GCTU Level 300 Computer Science student. And I'm just here today to just have a quick interview to address certain issues facing our students and also to talk about things that can enhance the livelihood of students on campus. So catch me there. See you. My name is Tyson and you are welcome to Campus Home. Thank you very much. Yes. Um, we'd like to know you. We'd like to know you who the Mark Josh really is. Okay, so thank you very much for the opportunity. All right. Um, Joshua Makafi Kujo is my name. Okay. And I come from a family of five. We are five in number. I think uh, three girls, two boys, which I'm the fourth among five children. I have a kid brother that comes after me. But I had my basic education at Confidence Academy, and from there I continued to Keta Senior High Technical, you know, uh, school. Where I did general arts, all right. I did social sciences as well. From there, due to the love I had for IT and uh, you know computer science as a whole, I had I had my first associate degree in software engineering. From there, I also had a diploma in. Um, uh, I had a diploma in uh, hardware, okay. From there, I decided that let me now pursue to have my bachelor's degree. That is how come I came to Ghana Communication Technology University. Yeah. So, so you just made mention that you had your first um, associate degree in yeah. uh, software engineering. Exactly. So, let me ask you this question. Um, how many programming languages do you know so far? Oh, yeah, so we've done so many programming languages where I was. I think we did uh, VB.net, we did PHP, we did ASP.net. You know, those are the back end kind of stuff, yeah. And the basic ones that we learned, uh, it's HTML, CSS, but we don't really use them so much because now there are lots of frameworks that you don't really need, you know, HTML, CSS. Now there are bootstrap.css, which can actually help you, you know, do stuff rather than going through the normal processes, yeah. So, 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 um, assuming, okay. assuming we get um, a client from outside, yeah. you can, and the client should say, um, so, I want you to develop a back end for me, okay. and um, use a certain programming language, like, you made by stuff use. Yeah. Can you confidently do that? Yeah, why not? Alright, alright. That's, that's you use PHP or Python or uh, Java, JavaScript, yeah, it's also good. Yeah. 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 That's that's brilliant. That's brilliant. Okay. So now, the Mac Jobs. I know your name is Macapu. Okay. Yeah. So, where from the Mac Jobs? Okay. So, it's it's just an abbreviation, like you know, Macapu and Joshua. So instead of being like, "Oh, I'm Joshua Macapu," could you just you know make it sound a bit clearer and a bit okay? I just say Mac Jobs. Right, so Makafu Joshua. Yeah, so basically that's it. It's not really anything different from my name. Yeah. From your name. So you you also made mention that after the um, diploma and the associate uh, certificate and things, uh, you decided to go to Ghana Telecom. Yeah. So, which is currently known as Ghana Communication Technology University. Exactly. Now. So what actually inspired you to, to, to take that step? Okay, so basically what happened was I, I had admission to KNUST, right? 
to study political science and also to Legon to study um, Bachelor of Arts in Linguistics. But then I realized that no, I don't uh, have interest in any of these two. Even though I have a, uh, a little bit of interest in politics, I don't want to read law or anything of the sort. But I now develop more interest into the IT field after, you know, having all these di diplomas and associate degree and stuff. So I realized that why don't I further my education, right, by topping up with a degree in computer science because I feel computer science is basically how to solve problems, real life problems using the computer or using algorithms and, you know, set down rules. So I think my major aim was to go to become a senior software engineer or a senior cyber security specialist in the future, which I can actually help solve major problems in Africa in a goal, yeah. That was my major drive why I wanted to study computer science. Okay, okay, that's 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 cool. Yeah. But do you think Ghana telephone yeah. is the right place for you to put it? Because just look at it from this angle. Yeah. You coming from a background of uh, general arts, no physics, no um Chemistry. I did electric math. math okay. yeah. No chemistry or any of those things. Yeah. But the school has given you the chance to study um, computer science. Computer science. Do you think it's the right choice? Yeah, I believe that it's not only uh, based on um, physics or chemistry. All right. I I always challenge myself to life in a sense that whatever life puts me in place, it's an opportunity for me to learn. Okay. It's an opportunity for me to bring out the best in me. Nobody is beyond limits, do you understand? So I felt it to be like a challenge because, you know, sometimes it's funny being in a class with science students and you did general art and it's like, come on, am I going to do this together with them? But at the end of the day, uh, it's more of hard work, hard work. After I got the opportunity, it's just about embracing the opportunity, how you can use the opportunity to make good use of your life. It's not about, you know, complaining, well, I'm a general art student, why am I doing computer science? So I always embrace opportunities and I feel, yeah, when it came, it was actually what I wanted to do. So why why not? Yeah, I just need to embrace it and get on it. That's what's possible. All right, all right, all right. Yeah. That, 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 that's true, that's true. That's great. So let's move from um, academic right. a little. And let's go to some personal life. Because you know what I mean? Uh, I love personal life. Oh, yeah, I sure, why? You know, you know, I love doing for first time to work for so. I mean. <laughs> so, the matters. With all the certificates and, and, and things that he has acquired, like he has achieved so far at a young age, don't you think a lot of ladies will be like dying to have you in their life? Oh, well, let me just go straight to the point. Do you have a girlfriend? Well, I don't have a girlfriend, but I do have a wife. No, wait, no, wait, 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 wait. I tried to tell me you don't have a girlfriend. Well, yeah, that's the fact. I don't have a girlfriend yet. But you know, most of the um, 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 people in the university currently, most of them, you see them having girlfriends. Yeah, I'm having a girlfriend. Yeah, we've been dating for two years. So, so you telling me you don't have a girlfriend sounds like strange to me. Well, it shouldn't be strange because oh, please, I feel. Please, let me ask you. Yeah, sure. You talk very fast. What's very fast? So, all these trending songs and things. Nah. You don't know what's very fast. I have no idea about You've been in a relationship and the girl said she doesn't want to again. No, 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 not really. Not, not really encountered such an opportunity. Why? Because I feel um, I always plan for stuff, right? If I'm not ready for it, I'm not going for it. You know, relationship demands time. My choice. Yeah. Oh, me, I'm done with my friends. So, no you know. So, we are done with that part. Since you are saying you don't have a girlfriend, me, I'll take it like that. That's yeah, sure. Continue. So, can you list some of your achievements so far? Okay, so basically, like I said, while I was in high school, right, I was I started from being a class rep, right, class representative. Then I journeyed to become um, an academic prefect, right, where I ensured that there was total discipline in the school, both during class sessions and during prep sessions. Did you get it because uh, it was it was. Did you did you did you did you, did you lash the junior? Did you lash them? Well, I didn't lash a few of them, but you did lash a few I, of them. The more oh, okay. of, more of was, was just punishment and just to you know, I I punish like constructively, not destructively. 
like yeah and most people still like me to today because i i teach them the right thing you understand yeah basically yeah. oh no come Last on to oh dear all right all right that's that's good so aside the um academic project and all that yeah any other one yeah, so I'm a project manager or let's say project coordinator at uh, Revenue Business College, okay, where we I coordinate, right? Like projects, what project managers do. What I do basically is I manage their project sessions and whenever there are business sessions or tutorials for the university students, it's my duty to make sure everything is okay. Aside that too, I've done a couple of um, data collection and I've also monitored you know stuff like that oh. so i've had a bit of leadership skills both academia and both non-academia that's yeah. really cool and then, then i have to learn from you, you know oh yeah sure i have to learn from you yeah. okay so aside those achievements you know before achieving anything here yeah i know it's it's it's, it's not easy so what are some of the challenges you encountered whilst uh, climbing the ladder to achieve this success or success so far? Okay, so like you said, there are always challenges to start, right? But what I do mostly is I don't give in to the challenge, but mostly one of the greatest challenges I've had so far is humans. Why do I say humans? Because, you know, uh, it's very, very difficult to lead human beings. And except, of course, you get people that are like-minded or who buys into your vision. You get people. And to be a very great leader, you should be able to uh, know what the needs of people are. You should be able to know how best you can actually um, meet to their needs or understand them. Because understanding, there's always a say that understanding their question is part of the answer. So if you don't understand how to, you know, help them, how to coach or lead them, trust me, you can never be a good leader. So there are challenges sometimes. You have sleepless nights just to go through stuff for people, and at the end of the day, they don't appreciate it, you know, all this stuff. But you know that it's all part. At the end of the day, you are looking up to one goal, and the goal is for success. And I believe that there yeah, are time goes on, God has been faithful. He hasn't made anything difficult for me so far. Yeah. Okay, okay. That's, that's, that's a nice one there. That's a nice one there. Okay. So, wait, wait. Is this challenges that. You as an individual yeah. have encountered, and, and, and the positions that you held um, previous, and the ones that you are still holding currently, yeah. you are still holding currently. What are some of the leadership qualities that, like, you acquired, or you think you are applying that is working for you? Because handling you yourself, you made mention that handling human beings is very difficult. Right. Yeah, right. But, 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 but you still keep doing it. So, what is the motivation? Well, the motivation is, uh, a lecturer always says that seeing his students excel in what they do, it's always a motivation. Sometimes it's not just really about money, okay? Because even if you give me money, it's going to get finished. We all know the economic situation in the country at the moment. Things are very tough. So what I've learned as a leader is always to be consistent, all right? Consistency is key. Whatever being it you want to do or you want to achieve in life, if you are very consistent, you, you understand what I mean? Like you are focused, you are consistent, like, this is what I want to achieve at this essential age. Trust me, when you put in much more work, and with prayers, you know, you can't rule out the fact that you need God, yeah? Consistency, hard work, and prayers. I believe that you are going to achieve them. Those are the core values that have really helped me so far in all the... Um, positions I've held and the ones that I'm yet to hold like those are my core values yeah. okay okay so I don't know your intentions yeah I don't know uh, your intentions so far but with what you 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 listed so far I won't be surprised I won't be surprised if your 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 people should hand over the administration of the school to you, the current school that you find yourself, which is yeah. But I'm not saying you should assure them. What is the assurance that with all the qualities and with all the experiences that you have um, achieved or have acquired okay. over the previous years and you are still in the process, 
what assurance can you give to me as an individual that if in case I should have the money to give it to you, that my choice, I'm giving it to you as the HRC president or as the leader of the school, whether looks or whatever, what assurance can you give me that you can handle it? Well, that's, that's a very tricky question. And, you know, because of confidentiality, right, um, I would like to answer it this way, you know, because of one or two reasons. I'd say, uh, let us just um, talk about our later it's because of one or two reasons. But I just want to tell you to know that, you know, experience is key, all right? Experience is very key. And you can't um, bring, uh, let's say, a 10-year-old baby who has no experience in life compared with a 60 years old man. It's not going to work. So I believe that experience is key. And one of the things that can foster a very good um, leader is having good experience, having good mentors, mentors that have coached you. So I believe that with that experience, wherever I'm being placed, can in, you, can you, can I don't you know. Some of the mentors for me. Oh, yeah. One of my greatest mentors is my leader, who is currently in the UK, is called Dr. Johnson Okini, all right? He trained me in a very hard way. Like, I really appreciate that man. He's, he trained me in a very hard way, Dr. Johnson. He helped me in building my, my um, career life and my leadership skills. One of the greatest leaders I would also appreciate so much is my dad, right? My dad has always been my backbone. He always calls me like, son, sister, this is how you need to go about life. Sometimes you feel like, oh, daddy is talking too much. But, you know, when you're growing, you realize that this man has experience. He has over 50, 60 years of experience of life. So I noticed that most of the things he asked me to do, like come and play. So my dad, my leader, who is currently in the UK, I believe those are the major, major, major yeah, people that have really inspired me and helped me in my life. All right, all right, cool. So, yeah. for this one, we are just talking about your personal life. Yeah, so sure. I think we'll just have to wrap it up really. Okay. But before I end the show, what, what advice do you have for, um, should I say, you are talking about young, I'm um, equally yeah. young, but what advice do you have for your age mates? Okay. Or some people who are also trying to the same lane, like, I'm not supposed to be so